All right, guys, so we are out here on what I call Rebel Hill. It's the most southernmost hilltop on our property. Uh, we've got a little food plot, a little tucked away hidey hole food plot. Never really hunted it that much, but we're going to be expanding it this year. And it's going to be coming from on the back side of this hill. You can see behind me and come up into this area. We're going to clear out these stumps and these dead standing trees here that have died from burns and I've got an existing tree stand here but we're going to be bringing that food plot up this area it's going to almost make like a kidney bean like boomerang shape here and it'll double it in size it will probably be about three quarters of an acre when it's done we're installing the Orion modular blind here I'm excited to finally have a tower blind in this area it needs to happen we're going to be putting it inside this tree line we've got the ladder here we're going to get up as high as we can even if we can get about eight foot where my head's about eight foot it's going to give me an idea of what this blind's going to be able to see from its position and then we'll set the position got the chainsaw just in case we need to fall a couple trees here the game plan is we've got back behind us we've got the um, junk plot newly acquired piece of property in the last year uh, went in there had an old dump site cleaned it up and bulldoze that area out made a nice little food plot down there what i'm hoping for is to be able to get this blind up in a position where we can clear a shooting lane for a rifle all the way down to the junk plot we can rifle hunt this area here this is all tree savanna that i've done by hand we've got acres of it up here got a lot of native grasses and flowers and forbs growing up here with the scattered trees in it so it it, uh, it looks phenomenal it holds a lot of deer all year round here it's going to be one of the hot spots to hunt that's why we're putting the orion blind here so let's get to getting the ladder out let's find out where i'm going to put this start assembling the platform we got a 10 foot platform here and now i'm going to show you guys how easy it is to put this modular blind together it's easy if you have a place that you're going to be more remote that you can't get anything back into to carry like a fully assembled blind um, this is great because you can see my tractor's broken down right now so i've got everything in the back of the truck we're able to get the truck up in here we're going to unload this get the stand and stuff built then we'll go get the modular top of the blind snap it all together and it's phenomenal we've got one right now over on the candy shop just had tornadoes come through northwest arkansas we're right on the line we had straight line winds of like 60 70 miles an hour come through here it knocked some trees down on my parents the orion blind as light as they are had no problems and it's uh it's phenomenal what these things will go through so let's get to work and get to building this thing gotta figure out where to put this thing See what I want to do is I'm going to build that food plot. I want to hook it and hook it up in here. So I'm going to take out, probably leave those trees standing, take out all these in here and those over there. So it'll, this will all be food plot. Yeah. I thought it'd be kind of cool because you won't be able to see it from the road because you got all this structure. Yeah. And then I'm going to go through and thin this so much that it's going to grow up like this. And then you'll be able to shoot down this. But yeah. it's probably going to be close to this tree. We'll try right here to start with. Oh yeah. You can see it down there. Can you? Yeah. I can see it. Yeah, I could definitely clear a nice shooting lane. I gotta take a lot of the small stuff out. I think we're gonna build it. We'll cut these trees out right here. We'll probably put it right here.
just gonna have a really cool view from up there, I think. All right guys, so the blind has been put together. It probably took us, let me see. I don't know what time we started the blind. A couple hours at least, what, two? Yeah, maybe. Two and a half hours. And that's also filming it, documenting it, having to run back, get the actual blind, and then load it up, come back. So overall, a couple hours. That's with a 10 foot stand and the blind itself. Now the blind itself, if we were to put it up, we could probably put it together in just a few minutes, under five minutes. Give me five minutes, give me some practice, I'll probably narrow it down to three, but um, super easy to put this together. So if you have a, a place that you just want a blind itself, these are phenomenal. You can see they got carpeted inside, they're super insulated, they're quiet. The windows, the, even from their older versions, the windows have been upgraded, I can tell. that I like the... The weather stripping around the windows, it's got a little finger latch where you can easily grip the window and open the window. Even looking right here, look at this Brian. So I thought, I don't know if they did this on purpose, but the measurement for the door handle, if you open it, then there you go, it holds the door, which I actually like. It's those little things on this blind that you're gonna find are really, really cool. They put a lot of thought process into this. It's a very, very nice blind. So if you wanna check out any of the Orion products, they've got feeders, they've got blinds, they've got tower stands, check them out and uh, enjoy, because these are something to hunt out of.